Hey there, and welcome to Toe Motion. I made a Pikachu doll a few months ago. Some people thought it was adorable, and some people want to kill it with fire. Uh, the best thing to do in this situation is to make a giveaway doll in the same style. <laughs> yeah, that's right, I reached 100k subscribers on YouTube. And to celebrate this, I'm going to make a doll inspired by one of my mascots and give it away to a winner. For more information, stick to the end of this video. Like I was saying, I'm going to make one of my mascots in doll form. I already made Franger for my 25k subscribers celebration. And now it's Motto's time. I created Motto's character about 10 years ago. I used him for my 2D animation practice, and he was one of the mascots of my stop motion blog. Yeah, I took all my mascots with me when I started doll motion. I kinda got attached to them. So let's begin and make Motto the raccoon rabbit. If you saw the Motto doll shirt in the background of my previous repaint video, then you found the hint. Good luck finding the hint in this video! For this custom, I'm going to use Monster High Boy, Claude. Well, only his body. His head will be replaced with his Ever After High doll head. Motto has a round face after all. But I'm going to use Claude's head for a very important character in the future. So let's already prep him. I cut his hair as close to his head as possible. By the way, Motto is going to get a lot of body modifications. To remove the head from the neck pack safely, I fill my trusty cat mug with hot water. Then I dunk the doll in it and leave it to soak for a few minutes. Great! Then I go through the neck opening with tweezers and remove the remaining hairs. To remove the flocked hair, it's best to soak it with acetone. After a while, you can simply scrape it off. And I also took off the factory painted face in the process. I shorten his ears and now he's done for a future repaint video. Can you guess what kind of animal he's going to be? Well, let's switch back to Motto. His head also needs some ear removement. But that's not all. I'm also going to alter his mouth and eyes. By simply following the factory painted guidelines. Some of you already noticed, in said eyes. And to cat them in later, I also removed the back of his head. And now that we don't need the guidelines anymore, I can remove it with acetone. Let's switch back to his body. Motto has short arms and legs, and a small belly. I am cutting the doll in many pieces, so, I can reconstruct it later to form the doll as the character. To reconstruct the doll pieces, I use tape to hold them together and a two-part epoxy glue to attach the pieces permanently. We're going to work on his head a lot, so it's best to place the head on the body. The neck hole is too small to fit on this neck pack, so to widen it, I'm using a hot glue gun. Now the head can easily go on the neck pack. To fill some gaps and holes on the body, I'm using more of my hot glue gun. 
To make Motto's big raccoon tail, I'm using styrofoam balls. I'm gluing them together by using again a hot glue gun. But be very careful, melting styrofoam releases toxic gases. So use a mask and open a window for filtration. Motto also has a belly and hips, so more styrofoam. Before I forget, I make a hole with a lino cutter in his lower back for his raccoon tail. The styrofoam belly is kinda too big, so we have to shave it down with a blade. Time for epoxy sculpt. With this we're going to shape the body and smooth out holes and gaps made by the styrofoam and hot glue gun. But he's also getting long pointy feet and face modifications. Like his fish lips and vampire teeth. Now the epoxy sculpt is drying, let's work on his long rabbit ears. I'm going to make them the same way as I did for Jolene. By using wire and foam clay, which I got from a local Dutch store. Hmm, I still have a lot of inset eyes left when I made the Sparkle Mouse Princess. But Motto has characteristic eyes, so I probably have to make them from scratch. Well, not all from scratch. Just like with Pikachu, I'm going to use these pre-made eyes. But they need to be smaller to fit into Motto's head. And now that I already have my Dremel out, let's also sand down his body for a smoother look. I don't want any of his face modifications to break off, so I'm going to use a layer of super glue. Now that we have all the pieces, let's give him a layer of paint. To make Motto's characteristic eyes, I start with black. And after that, a few Nike-like logos. Before I start his face up, I spray his head with a layer of Mississippi Clear. And now that we are drawing on his face, let's answer the question of the day. In the Divas universe, how were the six Divas created? As in, was it an evil lab experiment? Were they just born without any interference? Or is it something you don't want to be revealed yet? Yes, there are six original divas, or those, or they are called in the story. We have Morpheo Fulpes, Mortis Philis, Emu Aphis, Empiris Lupus, Sano Alces, and the last one is not revealed yet. The whole divas story is in a way about these ancestors. Where did they come from? What kind of powers do they have? And how did these immortal beings die? So by watching future Divas episodes, more information will be revealed. Do you have a question of the day? Please leave it in the comment section and maybe I will answer it in the next repaint video. Back to the face up. After a final spray of Mr. Superclear, the eyes can finally go into the head. To hold them in place, I use again epoxy sculpt. And after that, the head can be closed with super glue. Before we give him some fur, let's make him some accessory. I still have some studs left for my Sabrina Felis custom. So let's also make him a spiked necklace. Okay, time for fur. Like always, I'm going to make this out of acrylic yarn. 
by combing it and cutting it in teeny tiny bits. It took me a few days to get all of this. Well, let's glue it on the doll. For this I'm going to use tons of fabric glue. I almost want to fluff his face, but then I saw a big gap around his eyes. So I filled it with black foam clay. Yeah, so much better. And now for the rest of his body. To take off redundant fluff, I like to use a toothbrush. Some parts need some extra fluff. Motto has some hair or long fur on his head. For this I'm going to use glue and a big weft of yarn. Let it dry and cut it down. With a two-part epoxy glue, I attached his raccoon-like tail. He's getting some shading and pastel powders. And my nail on the back of his head. And with this, motto is all done. Like I already said in the beginning of this video, and it's on the thumbnail, this is going to be a giveaway doll. A winner will be getting everything you see here. I still need an address on this package. This is a worldwide, YouTube only giveaway. And here are the rules to enter. You must be a subscriber to Doll Motion. This is an art doll and not a toy, so you must be older than 13 to enter. If you are under the age of 18, you must have your parents' consent to enter. Because I will be needing your address. And the last thing to enter, and this is very important, leave a comment on this video with hashtag doll giveaway and a Instagram or Twitter name so I can contact you this is the only way you can enter for this giveaway 
A winner will be random picked by a computer and will be announced in the beginning of my Halloween repaint video. Ranger and Motto are made in doll form, so only one to go. It will probably take a while before I make a new giveaway doll on YouTube. Giveaways are the only way you can get a doll from me. I also have giveaways on Patreon. And as a supporter you also get access to these exclusive videos. We all really need to thank my Patreons. With their help it was possible to make this video and more videos in the future, with all the changes on YouTube. So I would like to thank Chelsea Panda Monkey, Amethyst Drake, Brogan and other Patreons. Thank you guys! And like always, like if you liked it and sub if you loved it. Don't forget to ring the bell. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!